Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and today I want to talk to you about the good and the bad that happened this week for the Second Amendment in the state of California. This video is brought to you by MSRArms.com, quality and precision for the modern sporting rifle. Use them to complete your next build and save by using discount code TDS5 at checkout. Now, last week in California, there were several different bills that were heard by committee that pertain to the Second Amendment. We're going to be focusing in on three of those. One of them is AB 2382, which is something that I actually made a video about in the past. It would highly restrict our access to what the government's calling precursor parts. Precursor parts are parts that would help you build a firearm. So instead of just having to go to an FFL to acquire a lower because it's serialized, you'd have to go to an FFL for just about every other part that you would need in order order to, you know, build the firearm that you wanted at home. We're also going to be talking about SB 1100, which focuses in on the age restriction for all firearms to be at least 21. And then AB, uh, excuse me, SB 1177, which also focuses on uh, firearms by restricting our firearm access to one every 30 days. Where in California right now, we can only have one handgun every 30 days or purchase one handgun every 30 days. Uh, this would restrict us to one firearm in 30 days. So handguns and long guns. So let's go ahead and get started with AB 2382, the precursor parts. Now, when it comes to AB 2382, I'm happy to report that that one did not pass committee. It was actually held by committee, which means more than likely it's going to be dead. It does have a very small chance of being resurrected in some way, but I think that that one is just going to stay dead because right now California is still dealing with the entire registration debacle. And if they were to pass this, that means that they're going to have to create new rules and new regulations governing these, what they call precursor parts, which to us, we just call them build parts, right? So they would have to create new rules, new regulations and all that stuff for these build parts and right now they're still fighting all of these lawsuits from the current registration problems that they had being the fact that a lot of people were on the registration site and weren't able to do so and so it kind of created this whole class of uh, unlikely felons out of law-abiding people and so they're still dealing with that that one thankfully did not pass Okay, now we're going to go ahead and talk about SB 1100, which actually had uh, sort of a cousin bill known as AB 3. AB 3 was the 21 year restriction for any firearm purchase in the state of California, and it was pretty much the same uh, in SB 1100. The thing is, AB 3 was held by committee, so more than likely that's not going to go through. However, SB 1100, which was pretty much the same bill, SB 1100 was passed by committee. So that's one that we're going to still have to watch out for. They're going to try to push this whole, you can't buy a firearm until you're 21 years of age down our throats. And so unfortunately that one did pass in the Senate, but did not pass in the assembly. Now, lastly, we're going to talk about SB 1177, which would limit you to purchasing one firearm in 30 days, where right now you can purchase one handgun in 30 days. They want to extend that out to everything. So shotguns, bolt action rifles, any long gun or handgun, basically in 30 days. So if you go buy a handgun, you cannot buy a long gun the next day, the next week or the same day. You would have to wait 30 days before you would even try and buy another firearm. So you'd have to buy a handgun, and then if you wanted to buy a long gun for your hunting, you have to wait 30 days. Believe it or not, that actually passed. So that one passed the Senate. So SB 1177, unfortunately, it's sad to report, uh, that one went through. So we're gonna have to continue to fight that one as it makes its way up to the governor's desk. So basically the fight for the second amendment continues here in California. What's new, right? It's just a new set of bills that we're going to have to fight, try and knock down. And if they actually make it through, we're going to have to sue them over it. Now, the information that I got for today's video actually came from an email that I got from Firearms Policy Coalition. It was one of their bulk emails uh, that gets sent out to everybody who signs up for their email list. So I suggest you go over to FBC's website, you sign up for that. I'll put a link in the description box and you'll know about these things even before I do, because it takes me a little time to make these videos. Now, again, I'm not not paid nor associated with FPC. I just believe that they are one of the, the people who are actually fighting the hardest for us here in the state of California. You also have Calgun, CRPA, and other great organizations that I suggest you join. The more the better, the more money you send off the better. We really need it. These things cost money and I understand that and that's how come that I push them. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where I understand that I can come off like I'm trying to push these guys because maybe they do something for me, but I'm just passionate about the Second Amendment in California, and that's one way that people can go and they can contribute and they can help. So 
that's why I do that and that's why I mention them in every video. There's some people who have brought that up saying that it's somehow bad of me in some way, but uh, I just believe that it's one way to kind of help. Otherwise, we're just a loose-knit group of people who are doing nothing. Anyway, I want to thank you all very much for the support. Thank you very much for watching this video. Keep up the fight for the Second Amendment in California. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day. This video is brought to you by MSRArms.com, quality and precision for the modern sporting rifle. Use them to complete your next build and save by using discount code TDS5 at checkout.